Hi everybody, I'm introducing SpyBot Search and Destroy. It's a program that I've been using for a few years now. And what I'm going to try to show you guys is how to use the program. Um, now, I'm assuming you guys already installed the program, updated it, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just talk about <clears throat> the first thing you need to do when you get SpyBot. Uh, SpyBot and when you first launch it the first thing you need to do is search for updates so let's go ahead and search for updates um, if you're running this if you're running Vista uh, it might ask you for permission so go ahead and just click on the permission button to OK it um, now there are no newer updates available so your system's up to date well in this case my system's up to date um, now it's now let's assume there was an update and you updated your system um, the next thing you would have to do is go to the immunize button um, you go here uh, just ignore that uh, open browsers oh yes uh, make sure that you close all your browsers or else this would not work so I'm gonna go ahead and close my uh, Firefox browser and just click on the OK and then it's gonna ask you OK go ahead and now it's checking um, what this does it's like giving your system a shot so it's kinda like protecting your your browsing habits um, it, it should protect you on uh, so your system doesn't get infected with this all this bad stuff from all your browsing or whatever you're doing um, in this case our, our I already um, protected myself, but if you just first installed this, uh, the software, um, you're going to have a big number here that says unprotected and this thing in zero. If there's zero unprotection, you're in good shape, but if there's a number there, you have to click on the immunize button. Um, go ahead and click on it. I'm just going to click on it just to show you guys. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it, it's, it all depends on your system. But um, it's it's fast. It's it's uh, this program scans faster than most other uh, anti-virus things and well, like all that stuff. So, but um, this is just the immunization. It's for it's it's protecting you and it it just protects you from your uh, browsing habits. So once it's finished, it won't show anything. But you, once it's finished, it, this should say zero. Um, if it doesn't, it's because probably because you had your one of your browsers open. So you got to make sure before you click on the immunize button that you shut down all your browsers. This includes Firefox, Internet Explorer, um, any internet browser. You have to close it before you click on this button. Um, now let's go ahead and click on Search and Destroy. And what's gonna ha what you do here? This is where you scan for problems right here. Um, you click on this and you check for problems. Um, go ahead and click that. And then you can just hide this. It's just the hint of the day. Um, see, it's already talking about the, the immunization. It doesn't matter. I just told you about that. So go ahead and just hide that. Or you can hide it forever. doesn't matter. And what it's doing now is just scanning. Uh, your computer for any spyware or anything like that. I just scanned my computer and didn't find anything. Um, unless I did something whoops, stupid, but I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything um, that I wasn't supposed to. So, uh, like also, also what I said before is this scans much faster than other uh, programs, so it shouldn't take that long. So I'm I'm gonna go go ahead and pause the video for now and wait for it to finish uh, scanning, so you guys can see the results later. Um, and then I'll give you a rundown of, of SpyBot and the next program that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Okay, so I'm back now and it's done searching. And um, like I said, there is no problems found. Um, now, if there was a problem found, it would be right here and it would say something in red. Um, you have to to make sure it gets removed. You have to make sure all the squares on the side are clicked, um, and then um, make sure they're selected, and then click on fix problems. Um, and then after that, it should remove 
every single problem there is. Now, if there isn't, and it tells you SpyBot needs to run on the restart, um, basically what it's asking you to do is, um, if you click yes, um, if you want SpyBot to click uh, to start up on the restart, is um, basically because it wasn't able to remove the problem because it's stuck in the memory. So what it's going to do, if you click yes, it's going to restart. Um, once you restart your computer, it's going to start up in the beginnings. So instead of seeing your your desktop right away, what you're going to see is the SpyBot start, starting up in the beginning, and your desktop will, will not show. Um, don't freak out, but uh, that that's normal. SpyBot will just be searching. Now that might take even longer than it did to search uh, with SpyBot in the first in the in the beginning. For some reason, it just for me it, it seems like it runs slower. But um, you can do that, or you can use the program that I'm going to talk about, um, and that will take care of the uh, the the problem that SpyBot couldn't take care of. But um, uh, I'll talk about the other program um, in my next video. So let me go ahead and give you a quick rundown what this um, does a, a quick review. Um, basically, SpyBot is just a program to remove spyware. Um, not just that, I've seen it remove key loggers, I've seen it remove um, Trojans, like a bunch of stuff that um, you don't want on your computer and a lot of stuff that may slow down your computer a lot. Um, it's a great program, I've been using it for years. Uh, it's absolutely free, so um, every program that I show you here on YouTube or on my site it's completely free you don't have to pay but um, it does give you an option um, for this program uh, there's a donation button um, if you love the program like I do um, you can go ahead and donate to uh, search and destroy spybot search and destroy it's been around for I would I would say a good four years because that's how long I've been using it but I'm sure it's been uh, it's been around even longer than that and it's it's just such a great program. Um, I recommend it to everybody. Um, the first thing I did um, was when I got my laptop, which is what I'm using right now. Um, it found if I go to the recovery, I'm going to talk about the recovery button now. And let me tell you, when I first bought my laptop, it found like 13 Trojans on my brand new laptop. Um, I don't know how they got there, but they did. Um, so what this recovery button does, it's like uh, if I wanted to recover the Trojans, in this case I don't because it's not it's 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 not a good idea to do that. But say if you did mess up something, you can always go back to the recovery, check it, and then I'm gonna uncheck it, and then you would click on recover selected items, and it'll recover those items. Um, that's just one example um, but so far it's only found this since I got my new laptop and um, it's the next program that I'm going to be talking about is a uh, it's called malware bytes anti malware and that if spybot does not remove it you I would suggest you use this uh, that program um, it's a, it's a great program I I, I I just started using that for for year uh, for like about a year already. Um, this is what the program looks like. I'm gonna show you how to run uh, this program and how to how to use it as well uh, in my next video. But uh, please uh, let me know if uh, you guys need any uh, help or um, give me some feedback on how I can make my videos much better, easier to understand, or or something. Uh, Give me some feedback. Rate my video. Uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start making some videos on some free programs that uh, you guys could use um, and show you guys how to use them uh, to make your computer run faster, or if it's just something like uh, other things or anything like that. Um, so, thank you for watching and uh, good luck. And let me know how it goes for you guys. Uh, email me and or reply in a comments or something like that. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.